Hi everybody, welcome to the first episode of the Asphalt University. I am Justin Meyer, president and owner at the Surface Masters and we, uh, we wanted to start a new series called the Asphalt University that uh, uh, can bring our industry and our knowledge, our expertise to, uh, to you guys, uh, end users, um, those who don't know much about the product or really anything at all. We wanted to bring our industry to you guys and uh, we're still uh, uh, not quite sure exactly how often we're going to do this, um, but we are unleashing the, uh, the series today. Um, this is episode one. This is the pilot episode and, and would love your feedback, would love commentary, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, but, you know, with it being the pilot episode, uh, uh, why not get it started um, just briefly discussing uh, what asphalt is. Um, so we'll, we'll jump right into it and, and just discuss what asphalt is and, and move from there on how it's made and, and, and why asphalt. It's been around so long. So to get started, really asphalt is it's two simple ingredients. It's aggregate, which makes up about 90 to 95% of the mix, and all that is is uh, the crushed stone, the gravel, and the sand. And then you got ingredient number two, which is just the, uh, the liquid asphalt, and uh, also known as asphalt cement. Um, so really, just those two simple ingredients make up asphalt. Um, so really, how is asphalt made? Um, we'll break this down into three simple steps for simplicity purposes, but really, the, the first step is the pre-dose. And there are different types of asphalt out there. Uh, they're called asphalt types, asphalt recipes, um, but they all call for um, different recipes. And the pre-dose stage or, or step, uh, if you want to call it that, is where uh, the aggregate is, is weighed. And each recipe or each asphalt type uh, calls for a, a, a different amount of aggregate. So essentially the pre-dose, they, they weigh the aggregate, which again is the, the uh, crushed stone, the gravel, and the sand. And uh, that is weighed and then sifted and then sent off to the next stage, which is actually the drying of that aggregate. And uh, how that is done is, is actually uh, uh, put into uh, rotary drums. Uh, it's heated up at about 300 degrees and, uh, and then and, and dried and weighed again. And the reason why it's weighed again after it's drying is because sometimes the heating can uh, alter the weight. And um, asphalt types and asphalt recipes, uh, the, the specifications call for, again, certain weights. So um, stage two, drying of the aggregate, is a very important stage. And then after that, that, uh, that recipe um, and that aggregate, after, after its weight, is uh, sent off to um, uh, silos where they're stored until that mix is essentially uh, ordered. And after that, it goes to the mixing stage, and that is stage three, um, where that aggregate is put into a silo and it's actually introduced to the uh, liquid asphalt. And the liquid asphalt comes from a, a heated silo um, and the reason why it's heated is because the liquid asphalt um, needs to stay thin and by keeping it heated it stays thin for mixing purposes. So once that liquid asphalt is introduced to the uh, aggregate um, it's, it's mixed uh, properly and then um, it is uh, stored in silos and those silos are actually heated and those are ready for um, pickup uh, from your dump truck drivers and other contractors. Um, typically asphalt plants have uh, several different silos with several different mixes at once um, because you've got multiple projects going on with multiple different contracts uh, in that contractors in that area that all their projects are calling for different mixes. So most asphalt um, plants have uh, several silos uh, running at once with different types of mixes. So um, that's how it's made. Uh, again, it's three steps, um, and, and which brings me to my next question. Why asphalt? Uh, why has it been so popular? And really there's two reasons that asphalt has been used for hundreds and thousands of years really, and it's the most popular product used worldwide on roads and parking lots, and there's really two main reasons for that. Um, reason one is, is the durability. Um, once it's, it's mixed and compacted properly, it forms a very strong and durable product while at the same time offering enough flexibility for it to last. And what I mean by that is when you're paving on a parking lot or, or on a dirt or rock, that, that is earth and the earth is ever moving. So with asphalt, not only is it a very durable product, it offers a little bit of flexibility there um, uh, and that's why it lasts 
so long, whereas its, its counterpart in concrete isn't flexible. There's no flexibility there, which is why joints have to be uh, cut into uh, concrete. Um, the other uh, reason why asphalt is so popular is because of the, the low cost maintenance options it provides. And what I mean by that is over the lifetime of asphalt, the, the maintenance options are, are pretty simple and they're, they're uh, pretty cheap um, when compared to other alternatives such as concrete. And, and the options uh, are uh, milling. You can mill it and then overlay it. Uh, you can patch. You can crack seal. You can seal coat. There are several different options. but Overall, they're all very uh, uh, low maintenance costs uh, over the lifetime of that asphalt. Um, so, you know, those are the two reasons why it's the most popular, why it's been around so long, um, uh, and why it's used all the time everywhere around the world. Uh, so to break it down, real simple, uh, asphalt, uh, just to review, uh, two, two ingredients. Uh, one is the aggregate, and two is the liquid asphalt or the asphalt cement. Uh, also known as, and then the, how, how it's mixed. You've got the pre-dose, you've got the drying of the aggregate, and then you've got the mixing. And um, the two main reasons why it's such a popular product are its durability and flexibility, as well as the low cost maintenance um, uh, options that it provides over the lifetime. So um, hope, hope that brought you guys a little bit of value and um, really look forward to, to your comments and feedback. And, and uh, that's episode one. And We'll see where this goes, but you know, uh, really enjoyed it and, and hope for uh, uh, your feedback. And again, if you have questions, leave them, and that may lead to the next episode. So we appreciate your time today, and I look forward to episode two. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.